Hello guys, thank you for joining us on another video. Today we're going to be unboxing part of our haul from the Kentuckiana G.I. Joe Winterfest show we went to last week. In the previous video, if you haven't seen that, check it out now. Stay tuned for the unboxing. All right, so uh, like I said in the intro, we're going to unbox uh, these two G.I. Joe classified figures in this video. And uh, we'll break it up and uh, we'll do another video on the Star Wars figures coming up. We picked both of these up at the G.I. Joe show we uh, attended last week. Uh, we got Dusty from My Soul's Game Room and Collectibles. And I'm not sure what vendor we picked up the Crimson Guard figure from, but it wasn't um, uh, one of the locals that we visit. So we got uh, great prices on both of these. We got basically got them for a retail price and I uh, haven't seen these on shelves at any stores yet. So it was a really cool find to find at the show. All right, before we start the unboxing, let's take a look at the boxes real quick. First up, we have the Cobra Crimson Guard. You can see the uh, artwork on the side. He's got the sword there. That looks really cool. And then on the back, we have the Classified Series artwork. Looks really nice. And then he's number 50 in the line, and this one does not have the plastic wraparound sleeve there. So these are probably some of the last of the plastic-free packaging figures that we're going to see. Yeah. Next up is Dusty. Really cool looking figure. I love the, the G.I. Joe Classified Series because you get tons of accessories with these figures. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, there's the artwork. Really cool. Yeah, art there. And I believe that's the same artwork. And he's going to be number 49 in the Classified Series. So we have 49 and 50. All right, first up, we're going to look at the Crimson Guard. And there is the figure in the blister pack and with all the accessories. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. All right, so we have him out of the packaging, and um, I absolutely love this figure. It's really cool. Comes with tons of accessories, lots of weapons, knives, pistols. So, uh, sword, really cool pit, uh, figure. Um, articulation is pretty decent. You can get him in a, a decent uh, shooting pose. Um, kind of surprised on some of these classified figures like this it has the the old style double jointed knees that Hasbro used to use on Black Series figures, but it is pin, a pinless double jointed knee, so there's no exposed pins. Um, same way on the elbows. The elbows are double jointed, and you also have butterfly joints in the the shoulders, which will let you get that uh, rifle up high and into a nice uh, sh shooting pose. His uh, articulation is limited a little bit by all the equipment and everything, but um, it's a nice trade off though because it, it looks really cool. Yeah, I think it does look really cool. I've always been a fan of the Crimson Guard. It's been one of my favorite like um, Cobra kind of troopers um, that they've always had. I I really always liked how they how it had like red and then it had like that cool looking helmet. And this six inch figure of the Crimson Guard looks very nice with all the accessories and the detail in it. Yeah, I agree. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so here you can see the uh, the Cobra symbol printed on the chest. It looks really nice. And all the uh, medallions and medals and stuff that the Crimson Guard wears in silver. It looks really good, too. It's nice, bright silver. Then you have, like, silver-type snaps or buttons going down the uniform. And then the face mask um, is black with a silver visor. Uh, looks really cool. The uh, I like the way they did the helmet shape. They kind of retained that classic um, vintage figure helmet shape, which really looks good in this on this figure. You know, some of the classified stuff they've changed up a little bit, and uh, some of it I don't like. Some of it I do, and some of it I don't. On his uh, arm, 
He has a triangle cobra symbol there. Looks really good. And then on the back, the backpack, you have the classic looking backpack that like the original figure came with. And a lot of details molded on this one with straps. Cobra symbol in the center. Um, I thought maybe it unsnapped and opened, but I don't believe it does. I believe it's just a um, um, solid molded piece. You do have two, you have a peg point here and then like a little attachment there. I think you can maybe attach some accessories to the backpack. So everything looks really nice. The holster for the pistol on the lower leg, on the thigh, looks really good. You have the sword up on the hip. Looks really good. And then on the other side, you have the dagger um, mounted on the other hip. Overall, really good looking figure and with a decent articulation. Okay, next up, we're going to look at Dusty. Let's get him cracked open. Uh, here is Dusty in the blister pack, and there's no additional accessories that were hidden by the packaging. All right, so we have uh, Dusty out of the box and um, posed up here. Um, overall, I really like this figure. Really, He presents really well. I like the paint apps with the desert camouflage. But we do have a few problems here I don't like with the figure. And number one is the helmet. The helmet is a soft, um, squishy vinyl. And it doesn't fit on his head very well. As you can see here, the whole thing is not, uh, the whole thing is soft. And it's just not molded very well for his head. It just kind of slips around. doesn't fit his head very well. The straps, there's no way to, the strap is is made unbuckled, so there's no way to, like, strap it down on his head. So you had to kind of mess with it to get it on his head just right. And uh, the, uh, the flaps on the back for the, uh, like, sunshade or, you know, protection from the sand and stuff. Is also molded. It's all molded one piece. I would like to have seen that molded in two separate pieces, and maybe like a throwback to the original figure and have have a little piece of soft goods wrapped around the helmet. I think that would have been a nice throwback to the original vintage figure, because that was one of the things that made Dusty stand out. He had like a little piece of soft goods on the back side of his helmet for the for the sand protection or sunshade. As you can see, I'm moving the figure around, and the helmet's just flopping around everywhere. That's what I don't like about it. And then the second thing I don't like is um, the inner uniform or the chest part of the uniform in here in the center. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's like really glossy and shiny, whereas like his arms, the lower torso, legs are all kind of like a flat plastic. But yet that inner inner part there where his name tag is and the American flag and G.I. Joe name tag is all glossy. And I don't know if that was just part of where they attached the those decals and that's just a glossy residue left on there or, or what the deal is but other than that it's a really cool figure he presents really well come came with a lot of good accessories the pack backpack is a molded dark brown which has an excellent mold on it a lot of features you can see there like the water bottle canteen water on both sides so very nice alex what do you think yeah, I think this figure looks really cool, um, especially the uh, the like kind of like outfit he's in and the way they uh, sculpted it. There's like a whole lot of texture on it, like down here on the legs. You can kind of see some of that texture. And then, yeah, and then you go up and it's kind of just... You go up and it's kind of just ruined by the uh, glossy like torso. But, I mean, it's not too bad. At least it's not, like, the arms and everything like that. And then, yeah, the hat is, like, really rubbery and doesn't want to fit on there, right? But uh, his accessories are pretty good, uh, which is nice. Comes with that um, that weapon with the, with the removable mag, which is pretty cool. And the kind of like a stand for it that he has. And the backpack, although it does look very um, cheap to me, it kind of looks like it uh, uh, needs some paint apps. It's it's okay, because the rest of the figure is pretty nice. And, you know, it comes with two sets of goggles, 
Um, they're both pretty much exactly the same except for the size. And the reasoning for that, we think, is that this one is bigger so it can fit on the, on the helmet. And then this one is smaller so it can fit on his face. That is our kind of like theory for what it is for. All right, so uh, both awesome figures. Uh, I really like the, I think the Crimson Guard came out a little bit better than Dusty. I was a little disappointed with Dusty with uh, some of the accessories, especially the helmet. But other than that, he does, he is really cool. Um, I just wish they did the helmet a little bit differently. So um, overall, these classified figures are getting, are starting to become really cool. 100% happy with them when they first came out because they tried to change it up a little bit. But now they're getting back to where the way the G.I. Joe figures actually looked and just kind of modernizing them a little bit or updating them through these new sculpts. And, um, you yeah, the recent additions to the line have been excellent, I think. Yeah. And it's, um, it's kind of sad. It's, it's kind of sad for, um, like, the Star Wars line, for example, of, you know, like, the Black Series and also the Vintage Collection, too, because these figures are, like, they come packed in with, like, tons on tons of accessories. And you know that Hasbro would never do anything uh, with their Star Wars line like that in, unless they made it a deluxe figure and, like, you know, raised up the price. So it's kind of sad uh, to compare with, you know, like, the Star Wars line. But, yeah, it, it, it's a really good line, I think. And... There's some really nice figures, and there are some figures that aren't so good, but, you know, that's going to happen. And most of the figures that have come out recently are pretty good and come with a lot of really good accessories, like the Crimson Guard and Dusty here. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on this video. Please stay tuned for the Star Wars portion of the unboxing that we'll be doing a little bit later, where we unbox uh, the Star Wars items we picked up at the Kentucky and um, G.I. Joe Winterfest. Uh, back last week so uh, we'll have that video coming out to you pretty soon so stay tuned for that and uh, make sure you give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you're new here and give us a comment down below tell us what you think about these two figures and also don't forget about our 1000 subscriber giveaway we have 1000 subscriber or we're not at 1000 yet but as soon as we hit 1000 we'll be doing a giveaway of two black series figures they're up on the screen now and also we'll be as we get closer we're going to announce a few vintage collection figure giveaways so please stay uh, subscribe to the channel help us get to a thousand subscribers alex take us out yo joe